this video let us understand the operation done on the matrices starting with scalar multiplication let k be any scalar quantity a be any matrix the product k into a gives us the scalar multiplication we can write k into a that is scalar multiplication in scalar multiplication that scalar quantity is multiplied with every element in that matrix for all i j that is let us consider this as a matrix k multiplied to this matrix k is multiplied to all the element of that matrix properties of scalar multiplication if you go through the properties it is self explanatory the m n are the scalar quantities a and b are the two matrix negative of matrix in negative of matrix we can write minus 1 into a gives minus a i j for all i j elements that is whenever minus 1 is multiplied to any matrix for example a all the elements will consist the negative sign next one equality of matrix two matrix a and b are said to be equal only when they are of same order and all the elements of those matrix are equal so we can write a can be equal to b only when a of ij is equal to b of ij for all ij moving forward addition of matrix two matrix a and b can be added together only when they are of same order that is let a is equal to aij and b equal to bij the addition of matrix will take place only when they are of same order and element to element addition will take place let us see how the addition takes place two matrix of same order 2 into 2 so they are conformable for addition as we know addition takes place by element to element so 1 plus 1 gives 2 2 plus 3 gives 5 3 plus 6 gives 9 and 4 plus 7 gives 11 and the resulting matrix is of the same size 2 into 2 properties of addition first one is commutative that is the sequence of addition does not matter a plus b is equal to b plus a next property associative the way in that they are added also does not matter next is additive identity the null matrix is called as additive identity because whenever the null matrix is added to any matrix the resulting matrix is the same matrix so a plus null matrix of 0 gives the same matrix the next property additive inverse additive inverse minus a is called as additive inverse whenever additive inverse is added to any matrix resulting matrix is always a null matrix last property is cancellation cancellation holds good with the addition of matrix if a plus b is equal to a plus c obviously the a will get cancelled result will be b equal to c this is called as left cancellation rule next one b plus a is equal to c plus a again the a will get cancelled and will get the same result but this time it is called as right cancellation rule it is differentiate but it can be differentiated between both the equations next one is the subtraction as i said in addition element to element addition takes place similarly in subtraction element to element subtraction will take place matrix multiplication two matrix can be multiplied to each other only when the number of columns of first matrix is equal to number of rows of the second matrix and the resulting matrix will be of size m into k i repeat 
two matrices can be multiplied to each other only when number of columns of first matrix is equal to number of rows of the second matrix let us see how the matrix multiplication is done for the matrix multiplication elements of the row elements of the first matrix are multiplied with the column elements of the second matrix and they are added together let us see how does it work 2 into 3 6 plus 4 into 4 16 3 into 3 9 plus 5 4 so 5 into 4 20 this will give 22 and 29 so the resulting size will be 2 into 1 i'll explain it first matrix of size 2 into 2 second of 2 into 1 they are confirmable for matrix multiplication because 2 is equal to 2 and the resulting size 2 into 1 properties of matrix multiplication first matrix multiplication is not commutative that is the a into b is not equal to b into a this may or may not hold true two matrix a b are said to commute each other only when ab is equal to ba on the contrary two matrix a and b are said to anti commute when ab is equal to minus b of a next property associative again the same one next is distributive distributive with respect to addition a into b plus c gives ab plus ac this one is the important property let us understand it multiplicative identity Mul the square matrix or the unit matrix is called as multiplicative identity let us consider the multiplication to be done in this way a into i we have a a matrix of size m into n and we are supposed to be multiply with the unit matrix for multiplication we need the number of columns to be equal to number of rows so the order of unit matrix becomes n into n so the resulting size will be m into n whenever the multiplicative identity or unit matrix is multiplied by any matrix the resulting matrix is the same matrix and the size will be m into n this case is for multiplication a into i this is for multiplication i into a they are confirmable for multiplication because this is similar size will be m into n the last two are not properties it is just for your information if the matrix multiplication gives the result ab equal to 0 it does not necessarily mean that either of the matrix is equal to 0 i mean suppose a is equal to 0100 b is equal to 1000 if you multiply both the matrix you will get the null matrix so the result is equal to 0 but a is not equal to 0 b is not equal to 0 last one if ab is equal to 0 it does not necessarily mean that ba is also equal to 0 you can identify this by using this example you will surely not get ba equal to 0 hope the concept is clear thank you guys thank you for watching my video hope you understood the concept for any doubts and suggestions please let me know in the comment box For more details you can refer these videos guys help us to help you so please like share and subscribe my video thank you